31. Uh, no, so I'm 29. Yeah. Hello. Howdy, everyone. How is everyone tonight? Rue, Nate, Noodle, anybody else that may just be chilling without uh, hopping in chat. Thank you all for being here. And hello. I'm happy to see everyone. And I'm excited to try out Dark Cloud, man. A game that, uh, of course, Nate asked us to play or, or paid points for us to play. And uh, one that I've been wanting to play for a long time anyways. I don't know, like, Rue, I saw you I saw you ask about it. Uh, other than being a smartass, like, I don't know a whole lot about it. it I've heard it kind of uh, compared to like Zelda a little bit like Sony's Zelda it's like a, it's an RPG action adventure kind of game so yeah I mean it looks cool it's always I've always thought it looked really cool but I've never actually tried it so I don't really know what to tell you there <laughs> um, you need to go to the 3d lab to get your headphone band fixed up what the hell happened to your headphone band? Did it, like, break in half or something? Like, <laughs> you're stressed out because the paper is next week? Oh, you got this, though, man. How's it going? You been working on it a little bit? Yes, bunny dragon. Oh, it's just cracked, so they printed out one for you? That's dope. I want to get a 3D printer so bad, man. I was watching a review on one the other day that looks really good. Uh, I didn't look up to see how much it cost. I imagine it's not cheap, but... Yeah. <laughs> All right, though. So, before we get started with uh, actually playing the game, are there any final thoughts, Nate or, or Rue or anybody else, on what exactly my tits are? Uh, <laughs> because, of course, we'll be revealing it tonight. I'll be sending out the YouTube link here very shortly. Because at midnight, the first video, sadly, I didn't get the second one complete. I have two ideas for what I want to, to make. Um, and I've, I've already started the work on making two more, uh, at least. But I haven't actually got to finish it yet, sadly. Just fucking tell us, you teasing asshole. Uh, I don't tease assholes, okay? I'm not a butthole person, man. I don't like butt stuff, sorry. Was that a cat girl or a cow girl? I mean, does it matter, right? Like, both are perfectly valid, as far as I'm concerned. Nate, where'd you go, man? You stopped in, you said hello, and then you disappeared. You yelled at me for being late, and then you're not even here, bud. Oh, my lord. What are we gonna do with you? He's gonna miss the reveal of my tits. <laughs> oh. You're here? Okay, good, you're here. They were cute either way. I actually didn't see. I wasn't paying much attention. I was looking at everything else. Okay. So, I mean, look. It's... Oh, you're driving right now? Okay, I got you. How much longer are you going to be dashing for? Just out of curiosity. Uh, anyways, so... You guys have gotten hints, right? You know you know that it's my tits, not just tits. Uh, you know that tits stands for something, of course. Uh, you know that the second letter of the first word is H. Right, so it's TH something, something, something. And then, uh, of course, I'm also releasing an Instagram and TikTok at the same time as I as I release my tits. So, like, that should give you a hint on what kind of content it's gonna be. No more guesses? No one, no one knows? You're on your way home, Nate? That's cool, man. I'm glad you're wrapping up for the night. Just tell us, tell us. All right, guys. You can guess. You're not allowed to guess. You know. <laughs> Fucking froze. Did you miss something? No, I was just reiterating all of the hints that you know. Uh, like the fact that a TikTok and Instagram is releasing at the same time. So that should be a little bit of a hint on what it is, right? On what kind of content it is. I just like fucking with you guys. <laughs> gotta, gotta build up the hype a little bit. He told me I'm not allowed. No, you're not allowed to tell anyone. Until now. <laughs> now it's fine because uh, there's the link to the YouTube channel, guys. You can go sub to that if you want. It has words on the YouTube channel. Wait, are TikTok and Instagram part of tits? Yeah, TikTok and Instagram are going to be part of, of this, of my tits. Um, but they're going to have their own unique content on them as well that won't be on the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is going to be... Uh, almost entirely dedicated to 
my thoughts in 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever the case may be. 10 seconds is the goal for most things, but every once in a while, maybe 20 or 30 seconds as well. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's short form content. It'll be on Instagram, TikTok, and on YouTube. Uh, and then, like I said, Instagram and uh, TikTok will probably be getting some exclusive stuff. Like if I ever just want to share pictures or whatever, probably going to be on TikTok or I'm sorry, on Instagram. If uh, I just want to do like a random ass video that has no theme or anything like that, that's that's really short. Probably going to be on TikTok, stuff like that. But for the most part, the the, the my tits are going to be on the other platforms and, and vice versa. But yeah, so the first video will be coming out tonight at midnight and then hopefully... Man, now that life is finally starting to calm down a little bit, hopefully there will be a couple more coming out within the next uh, week. My goal is to have uh, two a week, but with a minimum of one, right? Like, one is the minimum that I want to put out every week. I'm going to shoot for two. And, uh, yeah. Okay, those are nice tits stream. Thank you. Thank you. At least somebody realizes how good they are. <laughs> oh, man. But no, it's, it's actually, it's an idea that I've had as, as mostly a meme for a long time of like really short reviews, quote unquote, not like full reviews, obviously, but just like really short form content on things like that. Like I said, originally it was an idea of, of as just a meme, right? Like just popping up a video and being like, uh, this is, you know, insert name of game here. It sucks. And then like end of video, just fucking cut it there. But now that short form content is actually really popular, it's like, why not actually do it? And like, it's still gonna be stupid and memey because like, whatever. But uh, but it's not gonna be like like two words most of the time. Maybe we'll see. But <laughs> anyways, like I said, the first video will be coming out tonight on YouTube, um, and then it'll be coming shortly after the stream, probably on Instagram and TikTok. And then hopefully, like I said, within the next uh, week, I'll have another two videos on the other two things that I want to cover. Because there's already two other games that I wanted to share some some short thoughts on. And then uh, there were some other things that I was wanting to do too, not gaming related. Also, this game is like eating my input going through these this menu here. Yeah, if you try to go through too quickly, it doesn't work. I keep getting stuck on continue. I don't have a save game to continue, man. And what time is it? 23.53, so we got seven minutes before the release of the video. So, uh, yeah, maybe we can get through the intro real quick. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story... Do you believe in the story woven in the book? Uh, I believe. I'm a believer. Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you the story this ancient book tells of. A magical and magnificent fairy tale. Hey, thank you so much for the 10 bits, love. Holy shit, thank you, dude. I appreciate it, Noodle. And the hero of this wonderful tale, whose name is... Insert name here. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but we're keeping it. T-O-A-N. Tone? Toan? Toan? I don't know. <laughs> Ten for your tits? Ten bits for my tits. <laughs> Toan? I, I think Toan or Toan. I think it would be one or the other. I'm thinking on. But I'm not sure. I'm assuming that's like a direct translation from the, the Japanese name. Uh, I think this game comes from Japan, but I'm not sure. Who's the harpy bitch? No idea. Hard time finding dancers with the right, right qualifications. What you need all these dancers for? Mixing the blood of witches with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Problems, you say? In order to procure good material, you need adequate blank. I see. I'll pay you extra. That should solve your problem, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Why do they look so creepy? Uh, I think they're meant to look creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't believe they are the good guys in this story. <laughs> I think I think they may be the bad guys. And there's the white-haired cutie who will become your crush. Yep, yep. So what the weird like are those their actual hands or are those gloves that they're wearing? I can't tell. I think they're all I think they're just gloves, right? Yeah, those got to be gloves. There ain't no way they just got fucking hands like that, dude. What's with all the dancing, though? Like, what does the dancing have to do with mixing the blood of witches and humans, or whatever they said? I think it's just dancing for dancing's sake, you know? <laughs> like, dude, we gotta have some sort of epic opening. What can we do? Uh, giant choreographed dance scene flag sir do you know the oh shit i wasn't reading fast enough of course how much money do you think i put into acquiring this urn i've been waiting for this for years and now it's a legendary power is mine okay so the urn is important to this whole ceremony for some reason 400 years ago the genie of darkness appeared in the east and with its evil power the world was burnt away what do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands uh, be evil as shit, probably. So, the witch was, uh, Yagami Light from Death Note and destroyed all evil. They sealed him away, and now they're going to bring him back, but control him with somebody else. There we go. <laughs> also, it's weird when her, she was, like, wiggling her butt back and forth, the way her painted-on underwear was going back and forth with it. Ah, cloth physics in PS2, man. AKA, there weren't any. <laughs> I want power at any cost trope where he doesn't realize that he's gonna kill himself too? Probably. I'd say that's very much possible. Oh, okay. You're not what I expected. Uh, hi. Quite different than you imagined. Yes, yeah, same, bro. Damn, hey there, big guy. Uh, I think he might be hungry. Is he gonna eat them, dudes? Hey, who are you guys? Uh, <laughs> they're like, fuck if I know, man. Do we do we talk to it? Welcome back, genie of darkness. Uh, I have summoned you, therefore I am your master. Hey there, white hair cutie. Oh, is that right? Whatever, fine. He's just gonna take it. He's like, fine, that's cool. There ain't no way. He's gonna he's gonna murder these fools. Sure, yes, that's right. I haven't eaten for 400 years. Told you he was fucking hungry. I knew it. And the closest thing to him? Wait, him? No, eat the other one. Eat the general dude. General dude looks like a dick. That dude just looks like a nice guy in a bad situation, man. <laughs> okay, this is cheesy as shit, dude. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, Lord. Yup. That tongue, though? Oh, you into that noodle? You like that tongue? <laughs> what was that eating animation? Oh, he just swallowed that bitch whole, dude. No. <laughs> you sure? You seemed, uh, you seemed a bit excited, man. Hollering out that tongue, though. So what do we what do we got now? There's the two moons. That looks cool, I guess. Toe on, it's already started. Come on, let's go. All right, we're gonna pause it right there for just a moment. Send out the link to the new YouTube channel. Comma, enjoy. Control V. There we are. It should be live, I think. I believe it is. There it is. My first tits video, man. The first video of my tits on YouTube. 
a very short 10 second video <laughs> but there it is guys enjoy i hope you guys do like it try to oh sorry sorry guys <laughs> Okay, I mean, I know this, the 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 video is only ten seconds long. You had to have watched it by now. <laughs> oh Lord, it's nothing special, but I made it. <laughs> oh. Oh my Lord, this game sucks. Honestly, not not Dark Cloud, but yeah, the game that that I did the first my tits episode on. It is literally terrible, man. I don't know why I spent so much time actually finishing it. Like, I did beat it from beginning to end. I completely beat that game. And I totally shouldn't have. It was not worth it, even a little bit. Like, not at all, dude. For anybody just joining that wants to check out my tits, there you go. There's the, the YouTube link for my tits. And, yeah. <laughs> so, just to reiterate, it's just short-form content. Little short uh, 10 to 30 second videos where I talk about my thoughts on something. Doesn't matter what it is. I very quickly talk about something. Uh, mostly it's probably gonna be video games. I, I have a few video games already lined up that I wanna do, and uh, it'll also be other random shit, whatever I decide to do as well. But uh, there you go, it's live, that's what it is, that's all it is, it's nothing special. But I don't know, I thought it was a pretty decent idea, I thought it was funny, so. And I like making it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the game, should we? Shall we? Uh, toe on, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Toe on, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Why'd you say that twice? See, I told you you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. She left you. <laughs> toe on, hurry up. This is a weird intro, man. I I wonder if the, uh, the translation was kind of not, you know, a high priority thing for this. It feels like it was kind of rushed a little bit. <laughs> I can't be sure. But just the some of the, the wording, some of the way they say things in here so far uh, seems a little bit off, you know? You legit thought he put lettuce on his head? That's just his hat, bro. <laughs> Putting lettuce on his head, hell yeah. Look, that's what all the kids be doing these days, okay? Putting lettuce on their head. You just gotta get hip with the kids, dude. Go get you some iceberg. If you're really feeling fancy today, you can get you some of that romaine you put up on there. Hmm. There's a lot of dancing in this game. Yes, there is. Well, I'm assuming this is some sort of festival based around either the thing we just watched or the one that happened in ancient time. That, that like, banished the evil or whatever. The big guy's really feeling himself. Go, go big guy then, you know? Go for it, man. Oh, speaking of, uh, big guys. Hello there. <laughs> uh, a hungry dark genie dude. Look at the insects squirm about. Start there. Yeah, this dude's an asshole. <laughs> Just, why? Like, I can't even put my... I, I can't even get into the same mindset as people like that, man. Like, what? He just, he just wants to murder these people for the hell of it? I don't understand. What do you gain from this? I don't get it. And also, the Majin Buu dude. Like, why is he even listening to him? I mean, I'm sure he's having fun just fucking destroying shit. But, like, still. Like, you're you're a powerful genie, bro. You gonna let this, this little human dick fucking tell you what to do boss you around yo save her looks like he could be in dragon ball yeah he looks kind of like majin buu a little bit not exactly but like there's some resemblance there for sure <laughs> bye bitch nah we saving her okay <laughs> <laughs> Weird way to, to finish the scene there. Dude just lands, slowly looks into the camera. Wait, did we die? Are we dead? 
I'm assuming we're gonna be like brought back from to life or or back to consciousness. Hi there, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Well, I can't hear you, but uh, I can see your words in my mind. <laughs> hey. Uh, hello. Exclamation mark. <clears throat> and the fairy king. I'm the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. You don't fucking say, really. Hey, listen. Men, blinded by greed, have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half of your world was annihilated. Wait, for real? In one fucking night, dude? Like, why? Again, why? Where's the motivation here? I need my villains to have some sort of motivation behind them, you know? Don't just be evil to be evil. That's boring as shit. Give them a reason. It must be the men from the east that perform the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use its black demon power for war, without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness, pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical power as us spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power, and also a clear, kind heart. We might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. I decide to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. Hey, random child that died. The entire world revolves around you now. If you don't save us, no one will, please. Surprised? That's called... Alamalia. <laughs> uh, it's a stone with a magical power. Oh, don't look that way, boy. <laughs> I'll explain now. I didn't realize we had Kratos in this game. Boy. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Oh good, just fucking blind us before we start our uh, our adventure here. Seems like a good plan. Do you know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. You see, just before the village- I like this fucking drawing, dude. What is this? Oh god. You see, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. Seems that those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. It probably thinks everything is destroyed. What is it at this point? <laughs> it, 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 it what? You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Are we talking about the, the genie? I, I guess we're talking about the genie. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla using the Atla Milia and bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. You may even be able to create an even better world than before. Hell fucking yeah. Hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. I don't. I don't understand shit right now, dude. You're confusing as shit, old man. <laughs> oh well, I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. The genie? Yeah, well, I mean, I figured it was the genie. I couldn't think of what else it would be. So long. Gay Bowser. Ooh, butterfly. Aw, oh, and some pretty flowers. And suddenly... Oh, happy music. Okay. I, I, that's good. Toan, can you hear me? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, voices of the animals, and the voices of the earth. They're all calling for your help. Toan, you will probably meet and say goodbye to many people. In talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, Toan, your adventure will begin. First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. Oh, good. So we saved that one. The rest of them were forced to be scattered around the entire world, but somehow the village chief uh, survived and didn't have to go anywhere. That's fucking classist, dude. Uh, select is edit mode. Okay, so this is like how we build up our town. This is something that I knew you did in this game, was build up your town. I did know that was a thing. Uh, config slash assembly? I mean, we don't have anything left, but okay. We can move stuff. We can analyze things. And then we have our options. And save, of course. Should we save? We should probably save, right? Go ahead and save real quick before we do anything, in case we like royally fuck something up. Okay, so my entire village has been destroyed, and yet I'm not fucked up whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. 
Saving, saving, saving. We are very slowly saving. Save complete. Yay! We did it! Alright, let's go talk to this chief. Uh, how do we get out of here? Select. Okay. Can we, like, jump? No. Nope. It doesn't seem like... Ooh. Ooh, that camera. Oh, it's when we hit the circle button. Holding the circle button, like, locks the camera behind us. So it makes it fucking zoom zoom. <laughs> Alright, R1 and L1 are move camera. Uh, that is first person view. That does nothing. And right stick controls camera. Got it. We Gucci. Oh man, I can already tell this camera is going to make me motion sick though. Like that is going to be one problem with this game for sure. Yo, what up dude? Ah, Toan, you were alive. Seems like we are the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this had happened. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Toan? I mean, I literally just saw it with my own fucking eyes, so yeah, I guess so. I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, help me fucking fix it, bro. Stop sulking and get to work. Go cut down some trees or something, build some houses, I don't know. Guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the guardian of No Rune Village, Drawn. Drawn will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask, Toan. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Drawn what happened. I don't like the name of that. The Divine Beast? That, that just sounds bad. Uh, it's the cave outside towards your right-hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. This is the cave key. Well, yeah, anything called the Divine Beast Key... Cave? Divine Beast Cave is gonna have some, like, fucking gnarly shit in it, dude. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here. I'll get you more supplies. Good luck. Good luck and farewell. Is there anything, like, loot up here or anything that I can, that I can steal? I mean, he gave us shit. I imagine we won't need anything else. Can I take a bath, maybe? I'm probably dirty as shit. I was just rolling around in the dirt a moment ago, trying to save my crush and all that. A spiky bug's coming out? What? <laughs> Hi there. We got a prickly. So, <laughs> cool, I guess. All right, so we're bug collecting. I'm assuming those bugs will be used for something at some point. In the meantime, though, let's just get the fuck out of here. Go see what this divine beast cave is all about. All right, so he said to the right. So, is that it? I guess that's it. I don't see anywhere else to go. Oh man, is there... Okay, there's like an options menu, right? Yeah, is there something that we can do with the... Sound stereo clock is on. Time progress is normal. Uh... Map display density? I don't know what that means. Display, display, just display everything. Yeah, okay. No way to change the camera. I was hoping we could like make the camera not fucking... On crack cocaine, but I guess not. Use an item with square. We have tasty water. Water from rugged mountain nearly quenches thirst. Nearly quenches thirst? <laughs> Eating it recovers health a little bit for the bread. Recovers WHP of weapons. Escape powder. Having this allows an escape from dungeon. Prickly painful looking fishing bait. Oh, we can fish. That's cool. I actually really like fishing in games. I don't know why, but... Then we have antidote. That makes sense. I'm assuming that means we can be poisoned, because why else would there be antidote? The intro story is in the manual. Didn't we, like, get the basics of the uh, story earlier? I mean, I'll pop open the manual real quick. Hold on. I can, uh, we can have story time the stream real quick, man. There's complete character bios and analysis. Oh no, that's in the strategy guide. Setting up the console. Hmm. Manual smells like cigarette smoke. That's always good. 400 years ago, the king of the Eastern continent watched heartbroken as the Western wizard army prepared its magical death blow to his staggered and suffering forces. The king sat alone by the light of two moons, contemplating the end of his kingdom and the destruction of his people. At the moment of his darkest anguish, a shrouded mage appeared. He offered the king an unholy victory born from the blackest witchcraft. 
Desperately, the king accepted and, as promised, the West miraculously fell in defeat, but soon, to his everlasting anguish, flames consumed the king's beloved Eastern Kingdom as well. That was 400 years ago. Now in the present, in the western village of No Rune, music floats across the air on a clear, warm night bathed by the light of two moons. The villagers dance and perform around the communal fire in celebration of the Harvest Festival. Not far from No Rune, though, a more ominous dance plays out. Within the dark shrine, hypnotic rhythms pulse off heavy granite walls as bewitched mystic mystics focus their energy on a gigantic urn in the center of the shrine. At the foot of the urn stands Flag, a cold-faced military man who is the one responsible for unearthing this dark treasure. He hides his anticipation as the ceremonial dancers sway and chant to free the spirit trapped in the urn. Uh, I lost my place. The dance in the dark shrine is not a celebration of life, but a blood ritual of res resurrection, the rekindling of a long, imprisoned, and horrible force. The continents of the urn begin to swirl and then pulse upwards as the spell shatters the seal. An enormous being emerges from the urn. Known as the Dark Genie, he is free for the first time in 400 years. Flag's stony glare turns to fear as the monstrous blue-tongued creature gazes down at him, but he still manages to pronounce himself the genie's master. The Dark Genie agrees and then quickly devours on an unfortunate priest. The suffering of the western continent is about to begin. In No Rune, a young boy named Toen looks for his friend Paige among the crowd of performers. The face of the dancers glow in the, with happiness, but in the sky above, the Dark Genie with flag in hand arrives like a lunar eclipse. In a moment, the harvest celebration, next page, ignites into an inferno. Okay, so I mean, this is literally what we just watched, so there's no reason to really read through the rest of it, but yeah. Then there's just a bunch about how to play the game, and then we have short little, short little bios on everybody, on a bunch of different characters. So... We got Toen as the spirit king, Kans Toen, the power to recreate the world. Toen is the holder of the art, art, uh, Atla Milia, the magic stone capable of storing the fragments of his world. Only Toen can capture the contents of Atla. He builds a variety of daggers and swords. And there's a bunch of other people too, which, I mean, whatever. We haven't even met them yet, so who cares? You thought it went more in depth about reasons? You're bad? Oh, no, you're fine, man. No worries, but yeah, no, that was, that was it. It had a little bit more, but it was just talking about, you know, what we watched happen. Hi there, Fairy King dude. What are you doing in the Cave of Divine Beasts? It's for real this time, Toen. From here on, you will be put to the true test. First, conquer this wretched Divine Beast Cave and find Drawn's Lair. That's your first goal. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. First, to advance to the next floor in a dungeon, acquire a gate key for the door leading to the next floor. Each dungeon has a different gate key. For the Divine Beast Cave, Duran's Crest will be the gate key. Is this the wizard dude? This is the, the fairy king. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monsters to acquire the key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you just have to defeat them all one by one. Next, I'll tell you about how to return to the ground level rather than advancing to the floor below. I love how there's just random, like, hand-drawn segments in here, too. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, Lord. To return to ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. When you do this, I will transport your body to the ground level. Just select a leave dungeon from the main menu. But be aware, if there are monsters left on the floor, the mind connect won't work. It'll be blocked by their evil energies. In such cases, use the item Escape Powder to get out on your own. The No Rune Village Chief has lots of it, so be sure to get it before you go. You like the pictures, though? Me it Honestly, it gives it a little bit of flavor, you know? It makes it unique, and it's kind of cute. You can also mind connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor of a dungeon. When you re-enter the dungeon, you can start at the next new level, so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next, it's on to weapons. Be aware that weapons are breakable. The more you use a weapon, the more it wears, and finally it breaks broken weapons will disappear to prevent weapons from breaking use the item repair powder it restores their hp the longer you use a weapon by repairing the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger it's said that when a weapon reaches its full strength it can change to a more powerful form oh fuck i'm sorry oh man i cast a special spell on the dagger you have on you so it'll never disappear but all the new weapons you will get during the quest will disappear once they break so be careful don't waste your hard work by letting a weapon break and disappear so dagger only run is that what i'm hearing 
that's a challenge run that I guarantee you someone's done at some point. Finally, the important stuff. <laughs> None of that other shit was important. Forget it. Remember this. The sphere, Atla, where I protected and sealed the fragments of the world. If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of an Atla into Atlamilia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you will be able to begin reassembling these fragments to the world. Oops, today's lessons ran a little long. That's it for the lecture today. Now, Toen, show me your true ability on this quest. Oh, fuck. It's a bit of a slow start to a game, but, like, a lot of RPGs are that way, so I'm not even mad, man. Alright. Now we finally get the dungeon crawling goodness. This is what I came for, man. Alright, how do we actually attack? Oh, uh, X? Yes, okay. Just repeatedly hit X to, to, to murder. Uh, let's use the right hand rule, I guess. Just keep going to the right. Skeleton soldier? Can we do anything else? No. I don't know how I locked on to him. Somehow we locked on to the skeleton dude. I don't really know what happened there. All I know is it kind of happened on its own. We got our first thingy, though. River acquired. Dope. How... Did it just lock on automatically? Oh, no. Don't go into first person mode. That is not what we want. Oh, circle. Okay. Circle locks us on to someone. Poisoned. We are poisoned. Does that last forever? Do we need to break it? There's a tram with rusty wheels. Use an item with square. Okay. We don't... I ain't, I ain't dealing with that. How do I pull up items? I guess just triangle and then go to it. Active item? What is what is that? What is what is an active item? Uh, I don't know, man. Can we? Okay, so we. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we can put stuff in like a quick slot or something like that. So we should probably put. I'm I'm assuming some water would be good. Some some bread would probably be good. And then that's it for now. I don't know. Noodle, I have no idea what the hell that means. <laughs> Uh, die, Dasher, die. Can you drop some loot, bro? Oh, you did, actually. Thank you. What What was it? Just five, five what? Just the number five? We unlocked the number five, guys. We got a fence. You think there's a helicopter? It does sound like it. Magical crystal acquired? Oh, that shows us, like, the location of everything on the map? That's pretty dope. Okay, I'm assuming we can't get here. We need a bone-shaped key. Is it, I, I mean, I hear stuff. I'm assuming it must be behind the deer, door. It's a big keyhole. We don't have a big key. Helicopters are cool. They are cool. I agree. That just pauses. Select does nothing. Okay. Oh, okay. I just saw... Okay, so there's the menu up top. I don't know if there's a way to use... There's got to be some sort of way to use that stuff up top. But I don't know how it works. So... <laughs> It's fine. We'll figure it out eventually. So does this show, like, everything? Like, enemies and shit, too? Yes, it does. Okay. That's handy. Uh, there's a lot of guys coming this way. Maybe we can take down the skeleton real quick first. Oh, Square uses whatever item we have. Okay, so we probably should have... Oh, we're dead. Dope. <laughs> Toan is nearly destroyed. Wait, can we not actually die? Or is that just because this is intro shit? How does that work? Nearly destroyed, yeah. We weren't killed, but we were nearly destroyed. I'm assuming that's just because, like, intro BS or whatever. Seems like you finally come back with some Atla. Very well, then. I shall teach you as I promised. Or wait, can we just never die? Oh, uh, okay. The pieces sealed inside Atla are released by touching the Atla with your left hand, where the power of Atla Milia resides building in buildings and people that were sucked into the thing will be restored to their original form once you bring them back to the ground level you can arrange them as you wish what is the language in this game i'm assuming it was originally japanese but i don't know going back and forth between the dungeon and ground level you can restore the earth to its original form that's your mission as the one who is granted the power of atlamilia now let us move on this may get a bit technical oh fuck if you wanted to place buildings etc press select 
Press select again to return to walking. In edit mode, you can reassemble buildings that have fallen apart and place them on the ground. Seeing is believing. Try it yourself. Must be faster than listening to my lecture. Dope. Oh yes, and if you ever forget the things I teach you, use this. We got a book? Ah, uh, fuck yeah, we did. We got a manual. <laughs> it's a guide for using Atlamilia and other things. I wrote it for beginners like you. Wait, how many people do you have doing this? I thought I was the chosen one. I leave the world's reconstruction to you. I'll be watching. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so long. Maybe because we technically accomplished our goal, it didn't count it? I have no idea, man. I'm wondering if we can just, like, literally never die. Okay, we got a river. Do we have to, like, connect it to something? Is there, like, a, a river entrance? Can we just place it anywhere? Oh. Okay, yeah, we can. Can I pick up the river? Uh, was that, like, a really bad idea? Square, circle doesn't do anything. Triangle doesn't do anything. Uh, I hope it was okay that I put that there, because, like... <laughs> uh... Oh, wait, there's a move-remove option. Okay. Remove. Alright, dope. Um... Yeah, because, I, I mean, I'm assuming, like, there's only so many spots that we can put stuff. I mean, for now, though, we might as well just put the river somewhere. Where's the cave entrance at? There we go. I'm gonna put it, like, over here, just because I'm kind of curious. I want to see it, I guess. And then didn't we get something else? We got fence pieces. Place around houses. Okay, so we can't actually like put this on the ground directly. We need to I Guess I guess we just need to get more shit to figure out what the hell we're doing with that And it doesn't seem like we can actually do anything with it at the moment Do we have more items or do we need to? Okay, yeah, so we need to go back to collect more items from from the village chief and dude and then, oh man, okay, we unlocked all this other shit too. We got a weapon screen now. So, our dagger, that's all we got. That's fine. Allies, none of them yet. Oh, and we can just quickly go to dungeon. That's kind of nice. So, we don't actually have to run over there. Okay, okay. I see what we're getting at. Is there like a time limit or anything? Because I see there's like a, a day night cycle. The time is passing. Right? There's, like, the, the option to have time pass quickly or slowly in the game, or, or normal or quickly, I guess. Um. Mark will appear on the door leading to the next floor, so hit. Okay. I think he gave us shit. Did he give us our shit? Item. He did. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm assuming, like, that'll be a decent layout. Water, food, etc. Cool. Let's get back into the dungeon, man. I, we're just fucking trial by fire, I guess. We'll figure this shit out by doing it. Let's get back in that dungeon, bro. Uh, yeah, okay. Basement one, that's the only floor we've unlocked so far. We've gotten two of the eight thingies, it looks like. Is it randomized, or is it the same every time? It looks like it might be randomized. That's cool. I'm into it. So far, so good. And our uh, fairy thing, whatever it was that we had, that showed us the location of everything, is gone now, too. Uh, hi, bro. No, shit! I didn't mean to drink. I'm not even thirsty. But, Mom, I'm not even thirsty. Ah, he's chasing us. <laughs> Take that, Dasher. Okay. Uh, that was a thing. <laughs> that was, that was kind of funny. Ooh, tram oil. Okay. So if we come across that tram again, we can we can grease it up a little bit. I imagine as we get different weapons, the combat will be a little bit more in depth and not just repeatedly hit x M more tram oil okay how much how much tram oil do we need oh dope we got the whole map that's handy 
What is the yellow thing? Is the yellow... Is that where we're trying to get to? Or is that like a treasure room? I kind of want to die again, just so I know if dying does anything. Wait. Why is... Why is that beeping up there? I thought our... I thought our dagger could never break. If it, like, reaches zero, does it get... I'm assuming it won't break, because that's what the old man told us, but does it lose whatever power it's, it's saved up so far? Bro, we unlocked fucking trees. I like trees. It's called another prickly. <laughs> I guess, I guess I like pricklies too. Pricklies are cool. The power of tree. Big pee hole, okay. I don't I don't know if I got a key big enough for that hole. Dagger broke. This weapon hasn't disappeared. You can repair it with Oh, okay, so it doesn't disappear, but it still loses all of its strength. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I get it. So then we just need to go to item repair powder. And then, okay. Eating favorite food increases our defense power. Okay. Cool, I suppose. Do things stack? No, it doesn't look like it. Escape powder, a couple pricklies. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. What's this green dude on the map? The uh, mean dude. Murder him. Green, green thing? Yo. I know I'm blind, but okay. It's literally... <laughs> it's literally right in front of us. It's the fucking Atla thing or whatever it's called. Road. We can make roads, dude. We're unlocking all the cool shit. Are we reviving health or... No, we're losing health. We are poisoned. We are very poisoned. Holy shit. Uh... <laughs> okay. Look, I know I said that I wanted to die, but I didn't mean it literally. Oh, dude, that, that bread, like, completely healed us. Not like now. I want to die. I want to die later. I want to get through this dungeon first if we can. Just because I want to know, like, do we get a game over or does it always just revive us? I guess we could just Google it. Like, Googling is an option. Hold on. Yeah, let's just do that real quick. Let's not be stupid about it. Uh, da, da, da. Dark cloud game over? Question mark? Uh, dark cloud 2, but no. Dark cloud can you die <laughs> can you die in this game i just bought this used without a manual blah 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 uh if they if weapons break they are gone it's aggravating you lose money when you die maybe you can lose money if you die in the dungeon and can't switch to another character if you lose one character without a stand-in powder you lose half your money you have on you one way to combat this is to buy some damp sand and power, invest in gold bullion, or don't die. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you you can't actually die in this game. Ever. You just fucking lose half your money. Which is fine, I guess. <clears throat> we making a suicide bat? No! <laughs> None of that. Bad, Rue. Bad. <laughs> I'm hoping once we get some better weapons, the combat will uh, liven up a little bit. We're also very thirsty because uh, I'm a dumbass and drank my water as soon as we got here. Because I don't know how to vigi game. That's what it sounded like. No. <laughs> Just getting thirsty. I'm so th Actually, you know what? I'm thirsty IRL too, dude. Ah, oh, this fucking bat poisoned us again. Why do there gotta be bats in every dungeon? What does this do? Pumped with energy? 
I, I don't want to be pumped with energy. I want to be pumped with antidote, maybe. <laughs> Thirsty for death. <laughs> uh, Rue, are you okay, man? <laughs> hey, we got a whole camp. Hell yeah. Uh, health is beginning to deteriorate. Oh, fuck. We're gonna die. We're poisoned. We're thirsty. Macho? What the fuck is Macho? Macho Man Randy Savage? I'm confused. You're a college student? Of course not. I feel you, man. I was a college student once upon a time. Pick up that before we die. <laughs> Alright, the little, like, fives and stuff that are popping up. I'm assuming that's just money. I don't know what we actually need the money for, though. So... Is it helpful? I don't know, man. Alright, so we unlocked some shit, though. Is it anything cool? We got roads and trees and a lamp that I can't seem to attach to anything. What is this, Macho? Like his name, never skips training. Can I attach you to a road? No. What do I do with this shit? I don't know what this stuff is. All right, uh, let's just, I don't know, let's just put down the road. Put it right next to the fucking river because I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what we're doing. And then we got some trees. Let's uh, let's put down some trees. Do, do we get something for putting this stuff down? There you go. We got trees on one side, river on the other. It's a very beautiful road. <laughs> uh, sure. That looks that looks perfect. This is my my coup d'état, my my piece de resistance, you know. This is fucking A plus town building going on right here. Shouldn't the mayor be the one building the town up anyways? Can't I just like give him the pieces and he do all the work? What's our uptime? It's probably about time to take a uh, break, ain't it? Thank you for the items, Mr. Mayor, sir. I appreciate you. I wish our uh, item thingy would like automatically put things back where we had them before. That would be pretty cool. TBH. Uh, all the pricklies got escape powder shit. Cool, cool. I guess if we go to the dungeon, we're probably going to start becoming thirsty. So I guess we should wait to go to the dungeon until we're ready to actually start the dungeon. That makes sense, right? So, I guess what we'll do is Adventure Day 1 Night? Is there, is there a difference between night and day? Do we get, like, attacked in our own village at night? I don't... Game, you're not giving me much here. For as much uh, talking as you were doing at us, text as you threw at us, it didn't really, like, give us much information. Anyways, guys, we are going to take a short break while I get a drink, run the ad to get rid of the pre-roll, as well as so, you know, we don't end up having to watch ads in the middle of the gameplay. We'll be right back in, like, uh, three minutes or so. BRB. I got out of school early. I got out of high school when I was 16. Went to college when I was 17. Um, almost 18. It was, like, uh, four or five months before I turned. 60, or sorry, before I turned 18 that I went to college, so yeah, and it was roughly uh, around 17 because I was out of high school, I'm fairly certain, but I definitely wasn't in college yet whenever I played this game through the first time, so I'm estimating I was about 17 12 years ago, give or take at least you can remember and you got one hell of a college experience <laughs> So there you go. The dolls came to life, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're busy. Sorry, you can't see. Oh, that's right. You said you were crafting. I forgot you said you were uh, doing some crafts down there, love. Yeah, so we get uh, bonuses for pulling off cool combos and stuff like that of uh, certain lengths. And if I remember, I think we might get graded at the end of a level. Putting a question mark on that. I can't remember for sure, but I think think that's right um also this is new wait this all changed this is the same way we came from right <laughs> go, 
I know my memory's bad, but I don't remember all this being over here a moment ago. There are three openings to insert something. Okay, so we need to get three things of some sort. Can we go up the ladder? There's a ladder, but the lid is closed, and you can't go through. Fair enough. It's some gross-looking water. And some less gross-looking water. Blue Orb Fragment, also known as the Fragment of Life. But it's only one-fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotcha. This is the chain to wind up the iron lattice gates on the lower floor. It's too heavy to lift, even with my strength. Okay. So, man, we must have made a different turn at some point. Because this is not where I thought we were going to end up at. This game seems like a pound in the ass. It's not uh, it's not that bad from what I remember, but again, long time. Could very well be forgetting. Founder badge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got my uh, my status, what, a few years ago? Or a few years ago, Jesus, I wish. No, my, uh, <laughs> my affiliate status a few months ago is what I meant to say. So you're pretty early in the game. And for as far as the whole PS2 gauntlet thing goes, you're pretty early in the game. We're still... Uh, this is right around game 50. I haven't checked to see exactly what game it is yet, but uh, right around 50. A few years ago, yeah. <laughs> oh, If only I had taken streaming seriously whenever I first got into it when I was like 18, then uh, who knows, man, what would be possible right now. But Oh, that's right. We came up the stairs is where we actually came from. What are all these noises? I'm guessing that's the enemies that are up here. If I could jump up there. I mean, I don't really think we need to fight them, though. But, ah, screw it. Whatever. We get stuff for fighting them, right? Experience and shit. Hello! I'm back. Had a nice break. Hope everybody else had a nice break. If you had a pee, if you need to get a drink, maybe something to eat real quick, I hope you did so, and I hope it was and or is wonderful. Speaking of, though, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, are you around? Can you hear me, Noodle? If you are, say hello in chat or something. I... You have string cheese? Dude, we had string cheese on our pizza, and it was delicious. Our non-bread pizza? Hmm. String cheese, like, in general, is one of the better cheese... Wait, what? Why am I so thirsty? Holy shit, I just got down here. <laughs> why, why are we so thirsty, man? I thought we would have a minute. Ah, uh, uh, that kind of sucks. Anyways, uh, yeah. Anyways, string cheese, if you didn't know, is one of the better cheeses to put on... Um, to put on pizza. It's really good on pizza. It browns well, it melts well, it's very pooly. If you like a pooly cheese on your pizza... Anyways, put string cheese on your pizza. That's all I'm saying. You're folding? Uh, I was wanting a hot cup of tea because my throat hurts a little bit. But if you're too busy folding, that is totally fine. Like, for real. Don't worry about it. I can get myself some tea when I go downstairs on the uh, the next break or whenever we finish up for the night or whatever. What kind? Uh, just one of my teas. I don't care which one. Ooh, Macho's house. Okay, so I'm assuming we can put Macho maybe in macho's house and then like the fence fencing it said goes with houses right so maybe like we can build up the house a little bit since we couldn't figure out anything to do with the the pieces that we got otherwise and the, the little bags of shit i'm feeling like those are probably gold that's probably money that we're acquiring that would make sense pumped with an energy okay we got extra stamina Oh, okay, yeah, it seems like we can we can use our sword as much as we want and our speed isn't going down. Power-up powder? What the hell does that do? Uh, items? Item. Power-up powder. Unconditionally power-up weapons grade. Okay, so shouldn't we wait until our weapon is, like, a higher grade before we use that, though? You should probably do that yourself, Rue. You feel like there's a lump at the back of your throat? Eh, uh, that sucks. I hope it stops feeling that way. What am I thinking of the game so far? I mean, it's fine. I like dungeon crawler games, so like I'm pretty sure I would really end up liking this. Uh, my only problem with it so far is that the translation seems to be lacking a little bit. And I'm sure they could have done a little bit more as far as uh, like explaining what the hell is going on. But that could very well be a translation problem as well, you know? So 
hard to say. Okay, uh, we should probably go ahead and fix our item before, or our weapon, I mean, before I forget. Dope. And then, I mean, I'm assuming this here might be, like, upgrade with these attachments. Sure. Can we, like, attach and deattach things from our weapon as we please? Dagger plus one. Customize. Oh, how fancy. Uh, okay. I'm sure we'll learn more about that later. Want it in the purple cup? Purple cup is fine. And do you want a latte light? Uh, you don't have to do all that work, love. It's fine. Wind. For enemies weak against wind. Okay. I mean, I don't see any reason not to leave that on there right now. It's Dark Cloud 2's real name is Dark Chronicles Law. So yeah, translation was weird with this game. Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> A magical crystal require. Oh, that's the thing that shows us where everything's at. That's handy. I'm hoping that spring-like area that we found. Um, I'm hoping that refills our water for us. Because we don't have any water. Because as soon as we came in here, we were already fucking thirsting to death. I guess maybe we should have drank the water on the, the, the world map or whatever. Before we came in the dungeon. But since, like, it wasn't popping up there, I didn't think we needed it. You're making me a tea, so you're making yourself a tea, so you're gonna steam some milk. Well, I mean, if you're gonna steam some milk, I'll take my milk steamed. Like, <laughs> like, if I have to choose between steamed milk and unsteamed milk, of course I'm gonna pick steamed milk. I'm not a madman, you know? Fluffy milk is good milk. I'll tell you what I think about this game. I fucking hate the bats, dude. <laughs> Poison is a bitch when you only get one antidote per dungeon run. Uh, we need to go back to the, to the, to the, to the area with the well or whatever the fuck that was. So we can see if it gives us water because we're about to thirst to death. How the fuck do you steam milk? Uh, we use an espresso machine. Espresso machines have the little steaming wand on the, the side of them. And it just shoots, you know, steam into whatever the hell you put in it <laughs> under the wand. Uh, and most of the time, that's a little bit of, a little bit of milk, you know? It's good. It fluffs it up. It warms it up for your, for your tea or coffee or whatever. It's how you make lattes and cappuccinos and whatnot. You put good old fluffy milk in it. Fuck! Oh, good. We didn't get poisoned, though. Oh, thank God. Is that the thing they use at Starbucks and shit? Yes, but they use a much nicer version than what we have. We have, like, a $50 one. <laughs> Not a, you know, $5,000 one. <laughs> Hey, got the map. I'm a 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 map. You're hoping this one ends up on the completion list? I am sure it will. TBH. Of course, there's going to be so many games on the completion list that, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that uh, fucking spring there. The mystical spring dude also revives us. Just, like, gives us back full health, too. So, like... You're kind of into it yourself for a completion list? Yeah, dude. So I already knew this was a game that I wanted to at least try before the whole gauntlet thing started. Um, so I'm not surprised at all that uh, that I'm enjoying it. I mean, like I said before, I really like dungeon crawly games. This game and uh, Eternal Ring is another one that I really, I've been wanting to play more of in general. Drons hey, we got the crest. Dope. Okay, so hopefully this time we can actually finish this fucking dungeon. Also, my monitor just went black, so there we go. <laughs> every once in a while. It doesn't happen too often, but every once in a while my monitor just goes fucking black, dude. It's time for me to up, up, upgrade. Tram can be used now. Take the tram. Where is it going to take us? Rue knows their, their coffee well. Yes. <laughs> You know the magic metal wand of heat? <laughs> that's what they call it in the biz. Yeah, that's that's its uh, proper name. You know? Us plebs, we just call it a... Oh. Oh. Okay, so it just took us over here. Well, that... Oh, no, this is a whole different area. Holy shit. Okay. So the tram takes us to... Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll come back here. Because we got the key that we needed. And we don't have, like, any water or anything like that for this area. Speed plus one. I'm assuming that's something we can attach to our weapon. There's a lot of chests in this area, though. 
Holy shit. Okay. 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 Suddenly things happen, man. <laughs> Thunder. Uh, again, I'm assuming that's something we can attach to our weapon. We'll come back to this after we beat the boss. Um, Because I also think we're out of repair power. Repair powder. And uh, I really don't want to break my weapon before getting in Drawn's thingy. Assuming we're even capable of beating Drawn at, at level 1 or whatever we are right now. I mean, he's like, what, the first boss of the game? I'm sure he's not that hard. Famous last words. Oh, no! By doing that, everything respawned. Uh, okay. Or all of the enemies respawned, at least. That's fine. I'm going to run away from them at the moment just because I want to get this last loot over here. And then we're going to run the fuck away. <laughs> Which is all the way back to the beginning. Okay, bread. Bread is nice, but I really need some repair powder, maybe? Oh, dude, we got a new weapon? That's actually really good. Because, like I said, our, our fucking dagger is, like, ready to break. And Claude's house. We got two people's house now. Um, okay, so if anybody, like, gets really up on our grill, we can actually fight them now, which is good. But in general, I think we're just going to run away from people... It's not something I generally want to do in video games, but like just for this one run, because I want to I want to see what we're getting into with the boss. Uh, but we need to go get more water first. Holy fuck, dude! Hopefully, one of the people that we got, Macho or or Claude, hopefully one of them are like a shopkeep, so we can buy things like water. Because the mayor gives us one, which you know it's nice of him. Thank you, mayor. But. Obviously, we're going to need more than one fucking uh, sip of water per dungeon run. I don't think that's going to be enough, you know? What is the next game y'all want me to complete? If you if you had to pick um, after Odin Sphere. We still have weeks left of Odin Sphere, but still. Oh, speaking of, uh, tomorrow, sadly... I won't be home during my normal time. Work is making me work the day before uh, Easter. And, uh... Oh. Oh, that just opened up the next area. We totally could have fucking did that back room, dude. Okay. I probably should have read a little more carefully. Wait, is that drawn? Is that the big beastie dude? <laughs> the fucking kitty? Anyways, yeah, so work is making me work uh, tomorrow, Saturday. The Saturday before Easter. So I won't be able to... No, oh, well, fuck me, dude. I can't even go back now. That's lame. So we won't be able to play Odin Sphere tomorrow morning. Or afternoon, rather. Like we normally would. So instead, we're going to be playing it tomorrow night. We're not going to be skipping it. Um... And then Sunday, the Dorseman had his baby, a gooey peach. That's kind of weird. Uh, so I don't think we'll be doing anything Sunday, but I might go ahead and stream an extra day on Sunday night. I, I feel like there's a pretty decent chance. I'm kind of wanting to stream. Um, so, yeah. Don't be surprised if uh, if I do that. So no D&D &D tomorrow? Oh, shit, I forgot Saturday nights are D&D. Fuck. Um, okay, so then Sunday night, <laughs> we'll be playing Odin Sphere unless D&D gets canceled tomorrow for some reason. If D&D is canceled tomorrow for some reason, we'll be playing that. Otherwise, or we'll be playing Odin Sphere. Otherwise, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to put it off to Sunday night. Fuck, I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me, Nate. I appreciate you. Ooh, another sphere. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. So, so what? Noodle. Was there something Sunday night that I'm forgetting? Oh, no, you have a problem? What'd you do? Did you break something? You can fix it later. What did you break? <laughs> did you break the espresso machine? Why did you break my espresso machine? Oh, my house? I got my own house? You didn't break it? Then why does it need fixed? right 
in my experience, things that aren't broke don't need fixed. <laughs> so I'm a little confused here. I think I think one of us is a little uh the lid is stuck in the carrot. How? How did you even do that? How do you get the a plastic lid stuck in a in a glass uh fucking bowl jar? Car I don't know what you would technically call that. What the fuck is Yamich? Uh okay, well they're easy to kill. Like they're not strong from a health point. It fell in? What do you mean it fell in? How does it just fall in? Things don't just fall in. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, standing powder. That does us no good right now because we have no allies. But uh, eventually that'll be useful, I imagine. Die, Dasher, die. <laughs> Fuck. Can't just come up on my ass like that, dude. You gotta ask before you do that. A petite fish? I'm assuming that's a, uh, a fishing thing, too. Stop yelling. I'm not yelling at you. You're fine, Noodle. Fish. Got some fish. I think we might be feeding that fish to other fish, though. I'm not positive, but <laughs> that's that's my, my thoughts on it. A barbell? Can we, like, raise our strength with that or something? So, like, one thing I'm a little bit confused about, is it really worth it? in the early game to keep these weapons alive forever or should we just let them die uh like should we be pouring i i mean i guess maybe we shouldn't be letting them die but like should we be pouring upgrades into them i guess is my question i don't know okay so there's some sort of fancy door over there i don't know what the fancy door is uh, we are thirsty as shit. So there's that. I'm assuming those Yamich, if they touch us, are gonna hurt pretty bad. Ooh, Bonky. Dope. Uh, you read something about focus on upgrading your knife? You mean the dagger? Bomb nuts? Uh, these nuts be the bomb, baby. <laughs> you like those nuts? Uh, Camacho, Comacho. Thirst limit reached? I'll show you a thirst limit. I just want to, like, get as far as I can, get as much shit as I can, before we die of thirst in this dungeon. Because I'm salty about not being able to finish the last one because I'm an idiot. Yes? I mean, it makes sense, right? Because the dagger never... Well, with that said, though, no, the dagger does... Like it doesn't break, but if it but if it runs out of power, um, then it loses all of its upgrades. So like I don't know, man. Though they did say if it gets to a high enough level, if any weapon gets to a high enough level, it might become something better. So maybe whatever the dagger turns into is just dope as shit. I'm telling you, after. Funds increase a little? Dude, we just got money? I like money. Uh, I like money a lot. We got a keg. Who wants to have a kegger, dude? Kegger at my place. Uh, big door, let's go. What was I saying? I was saying something earlier. Is there nobody in here? So that, like, giant ass door, I was expecting there to be, like, a boss in here or something. We got the magical crystal, and the magical crystal says that we finished everything. That was literally it. There was nothing here. Huh. I don't remember what I was saying earlier, though. Knife game F Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say, I, I, I'm definitely going to be reading the game FAQs to get, like, all the tips and tricks and shit without getting spoilers. And the problem, though, is I'm going to do that, like, now. And then by tomorrow, by tomorrow, by whenever we finally get to come back to this game, <clears throat> after Odin Sphere is complete, I'm going to forget all of those tips and tricks and shit. That's the problem. Like, all right, let's leave dungeon temporarily because we have like no fucking supplies. Plus, we got actual houses now, so we should probably do something with those.
And then maybe we can, like, rearrange a little bit to something that actually makes sense. Oh. Uh, oh, we can also use this mode to teleport around, I just noticed. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so we got my house. Macho's house. I'm assuming Macho would want a barbell. Slot for character. Slot for character. Okay, so we can't do any of that. Macho. I mean, Macho... Daily training makes for muscular body. Okay, so they can only slot in certain places. The shorter big brother, so that's going to be you there. But, like, does the barbell not go? I don't know what goes here yet. It fucking looks like a barbell would go there to me, man. <laughs> like, that would make sense, right? Paige's father, good at physical labor. Round wooden thing, something's in it. Okay, so that's a keg. And then a shaggy animal. Cute little one with a cute little bell. Always worries about towing. Uh, smells like food. Okay, so I don't have Pike's or Paige's house yet, I guess. Alright, well the lantern goes there. Convenient for storing things, that'd probably be the shed. That's the fence. And then chimney and annex room? Uh, hmm. Can we upgrade this shit after we put them down? So, like, if I put down my house, there's got to be a way to rotate, right? Yeah, O2 and R2. Oh, man, why can't we put shit over there? Uh, I just put my house right in front of there. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hold on. I need to grab a fucking road. Move and remove. Move you. What? We can't line up the road with the fucking mayors? <laughs> that is annoying as shit. Uh, man, I don't like that. That, that's going to bother me. I guess we'll just have to go like like this kind of in front of the mayor's house. Like that. Which, in that case, maybe it would make sense to kind of go straight down like that too. So that we can have like things on the side or whatever. I don't know. I want the road going to my house complete. It's going to bug me if it's not. Dope. Uh, and then, I don't know, let's get some, some trees up in this bitch. So, you know what, actually, I'm just gonna leave the trees right there. You're gonna remind me when we beat Odin Sphere, you'll also be playing it here and there. Dope, dude. That means you can give me all of the, the, the tips and tricks like Rue does. Okay, yeah, we can still upgrade these things even after they're placed down, it looks like. That's, that's handy. TBH. Um, no, nah, we, we want to put our, our... Our crush's house right behind ours, obviously. Um, hmm. How do I want to lay it out? And then there's... What? Is there one extra spot? There? Yeah, so then we can kind of wrap around, maybe? And then... Claude's house? Claude... You're not my, my crush either, I don't think. I think, I think Paige is my crush, right? Wait, is your house bigger than the other ones? No. Okay, it was just because it was, like, raised up in the air. There we go. So we can have it kind of like that, maybe? Uh, sure. Why not? I don't know, man. Or the other thing we could do... Oh, but that leaves, like... Oh, you know what, then? For now, we could fill in this space with trees. You see this? Oh, look at that. It's all coming together now, man. And then instead of having the road go all the way back here, we can have the river run next to our house or near our house. Not literally next to it. Dope. Very nice and God's damn it, I'm going to kill my Wi-Fi adapter. Is it like fucking up on you or something? I'm assuming it's just like randomly dying on you. This will be the first JRPG you've played in a minute, so it's going to be rough. I know, like, technically this is a JRPG, but I wouldn't consider it a JRPG, right? Like, yeah, it obviously it technically is. It's was made in Japan. It's a role-playing game. 
But to me, JRPGs are always turn-based. I feel like I feel like a JRPG needs to be turn-based to be a JRPG. Okay, so we can't do shit in our house. At least not upstairs. What's this what's this door do? Anything? Nothing. Cool. Okay, so so the upstairs is useless. I'm assuming once we get like the other characters to put in it, there will be some sort of use. Or maybe when it's not, you know, the middle of the fucking night. It's a USB one, said Room. And every so often it just stops working, then fixes itself, then stops, then goes, then stops, then goes, and I'm honestly just tired of it. Honestly, fair. Yeah, that sounds annoying as shit. Okay, so we're gonna get some sort of animal to put down there, I assume. Or maybe that's just where our sister sleeps. I <laughs> get it, because, like, you know, sibling rivalry and being mean to each other and shit. Hey, there's a chest! We got, we got bread. Why did you just, like, leave bread sitting out for me? Do all of the village people just leave random goodies out for me? I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. I'll, I'll take random bread off the side of the road. <laughs> Oh, hi there. I kind of wanted to, uh, creep through your house real quick. Mr. Uh, I believe you're macho. See, this dude literally has a barbell in here. What do you mean I can't put a barbell in? I'm like 90% sure this is where the fucking barbell goes, man. Where else would it go? Oh, fuck, he's gone. Oh, but did you leave out more bread for me? Oh, tasty water. Well, thanks, man. Hi there. Ah, oh, Toan, I miss you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. Uh, hello. If you see my big bro, tell him you didn't see me, okay? I'm counting on you. How should I rebuild the town? Fighting is what a man should live for. What will happen when it's done? Uh, tell me how to rebuild your house. Don't forget to expand my room and the barbell. Put that outside. Okay, so guess what? The barbell fucking goes there. <laughs> if we ask him again, will he give us more hints on what to do with his house? No, just the same thing. Okay. So we need to expand his room however the hell we do that. Uh, maybe turn the camera. Why won't the camera turn, damn it? Thank you, Noodle. You're welcome. Ah. I blend in. You blend in. How hot is it? Like, very hot? Okay. <laughs> Too hot to drink. Got it. Ooh, very fluffy. Good job. Did you put Splenda in it for me too? You're the best. Isn't she the fucking best, guys? Uh, we just acquired a bomb. And speed two. Is that cocaine? Speed plus two? <laughs> that sounds like cocaine to me, guys. I don't know. So should we be, like, putting that shit on our weapons or something? Hi there, uh, big bro. Thank you, Toan. Say, what happened on the day of the festival anyway? I remember a light flashed from the sky, and the house has disappeared, and after that, I don't remember a thing. Uh, how should I rebuild shit? I'd like the house to be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. What will happen when it's done? I'll give you something, but it'll keep it a secret for now. The hint is rock-breaking strength. A fence and a lamp would be nice. We had stuff any decent person would have, you know? Okay, so, look. What you're telling me is all the shit that I wanted to put on your house is what you need. Why do things just keep appearing in random places? Who just sits bread in a box outside their house? Like, this is my house. There's nobody even living here. Who the fuck did it? And didn't we put someone in this house or no? I guess, I guess we didn't, did we? Uh, okay. Building mode. Menu. Config and assembly. So we now know that you want a lamp. Claude's not even here, so fuck Claude, you know? Annex room. A fence. And a barbell. Okay. So there's a special event now when we go there? Do we do we have to like go here or do we talk to them? How do we how do we how do we do it? Ah uh, fuck. Hot milk. Hot fluffy milk. Thanks to you, our house is back to normal again. You're welcome, man. Here, this is for you. Keep it. Stonebreaker acquired. What the fuck's that do? 
Hey, that's mine. <laughs> uh, it's mine now, bitch. Like I always tell you, what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. That's how things between big brothers and little brothers should be. Uh, dude's kind of a dick. I can't take this anymore, bro. We're gonna settle this with a battle. Don't fight over me, guys. Oh shit, dude. They really duking it out in there. Yeah, that's awkward as fuck. I don't blame Toen. When's the white-haired dude coming to play? Are all brothers like this? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, so... Nate was saying a dagger is best, so... What do we got? We got... What's Rockbreaker do? Stonebreaker. Increases damage to rock monsters? Can we, like, unequip things? We can. Okay, so there's, like, no point in not putting stuff in there. Speed plus two? Do it, I guess. Gives weapon the thunder attribute. Wind? How oh, we can, like, turn stuff on and off? Where's my white-haired hottie? Yeah, that's what I was wondering, man. They just, like, disappeared. So, if our weapon breaks, right? Attribute. Do we get the ship back? Upgrade confirmed? Oh. Oh. I didn't... What? Did that just, like, take that shit for... For forever? Customize. Oh, fuck, it did. I didn't mean to do that, man. <laughs> uh... Well, okay. Uh... I hope that rock breaker thing wasn't too good because it's gone forever now. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So it has an attack of 8. That has an attack of 10. So I feel like our dagger is actually like almost as good as the gladius. Now like... If we, if we did shit to the gladius though, obviously it would be better. So I don't know, I'm just going off what Nate said. Make the- do the- do the fucking knife thing, dude. Keep the knife going. Why not? Fuck it. Tea good? It is good. Thank you, Noodle, really. Seriously, dude, I appreciate it. It's good for the throat. My aching throat. Looks to be no easy task. You put some items on me needing. Thank you. Uh, and you don't have fuck all to say. Okay, thanks, man. Let's, uh, we got a lot of shit here. We really need, like, someone that can... Hair powder. Someone that can, like, buy and sell shit. Can we only have stacks of two? No, okay, there it goes. What's the fish for? Fish bait. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. The fish would be fish bait. So that's standing powder. Is there an organized button? There is. Thank you, Jesus. A gooey peach. Throwing it at an enemy creates a gooey attack. Bomb does bomb. Bomb nuts. Hits enemies with it, making it explode and cause damage. Okay. I see nothing else to do here. Let's go. Back to the dungeon we go, bro. I think we're going to start at level one again, though. And work our way down because I want to, uh, I want to check out the, the back area. I'm assuming the chest will respawn, but the atlas or whatever they're called won't. Yeah, okay, because it, it even shows, like, what atlas we've gotten and haven't gotten. What's with the, the thing on the right? The little onk symbol with the 30? Onk symbol with 15, onk symbol with 1? I don't know what that means. Is that... That wouldn't be number of enemies, no. How many people I've killed there? Oh, good. We're we're extremely thirsty. Nice. I'm I'm happy about that. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So we might as well just leave the dungeon. Uh. Do, did he give us more repair powder? He did. Use that real quick. And then how do we do the mine link thing? Or we can't, I guess, huh? Use escape powder and leave dungeon. Hindered by monsters. Use escape powder. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't care. We'll, we'll get more escape powder, right? 
あはい、back back to the bro I guess to the to the mayor bro uh go here please thank you and give me more supplies please senpai also I've left the uh the tic-tac-toe game to be won by one of y'all if one of you guys want to do it it's just been sitting there the entire stream waiting for someone to win So if I put that there, right, and then, wait, 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 hold on, let's fix our other weapon too. And we're here, why not, right? Repair. Wait, what's build up do? Change weapons to different weapon? Oh. Okay, so wait, if that, that, that option's not available for this, for the dagger, so the dagger can't get any better. I don't know, man. Your whole, uh... Your whole, your whole... Fix up the knife thing. Uh, seems a little, a little iffy. Yeah, you do, uh, exclamation point, SL game. All one word. And then whatever space you want to play. Nate kinda sniped the wind from you there, but... <laughs> All right, so we, we put our water in, and then does talking to him give us another one? It does not. It did give us another repair powder, though, since we used the one. So, I mean, I'll take what I can get. Did I say escape powder? I meant repair powder. Whatever. All right, go back to dungeon. Yes. Right, let's get through this first level, man. For realsies this time. Is it ever going to end? <laughs> How much steam did you end up putting in it? I know you said you put too much, but how much is too much? Did you fill it up to the first steam line? Did you fill it up to one cup? Because, like, whenever I'm just steaming and not doing anything else, I usually don't put all that much in it. I usually put, like, I don't know, a splash. <laughs> Alright, well, we can't go there right now. Also, do you see the fucking... What, <laughs> our shadow is fucking broke, dude. Do you see this? What is going on? Our game is crashing? <laughs> this is the sort of thing I would expect to see in, like, emulation of the game or something like that. But, like, I'm playing the game on real hardware. A real copy of the game on real hardware. Our shadow's fucking jank as hell. This is the first time I've seen it, though. I'm assuming there's some sort of error. Like, maybe it loaded wrong? Maybe my console's overheating or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely fucking acting up. Oh, there's the bone key, so we can get behind that big orange door. Uh, big chest me, daddy? Forcing it open may activate a trap. Use a treasure chest key? Oh. Okay, so... What kind of traps could there be? Is it worth it? I mean, we there's only one way to find out, right? How this works? Trap must be an explosion. The trap is poison? Ah! Fuck! <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully it's the same thing every time. A bone rapier? Dude, that's fucking sick. Okay. I'll take a bone rapier. How powerful is that? Weapons. Uh, ooh, 15? That's pretty fucking good, dude. I don't know what ED stands for. Besides erectile dysfunction. Uh, speed is 80. MP is 30. So that is by far the best thing we have so far. Except for the fact that it breaks easily. Um, let's give you some thunder damage. Because why not? And then equip it, man. Didn't know how long it would take to steam the... You filled it up to the fourth steam line? Holy shit, dude. That's way too much. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you fucked up, bro. <laughs> That's for when you're making coffee and steaming. That's the only time you should fill it up that much. 
<laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's not like gonna hurt it or anything. But yeah, you're gonna be there for a little while steaming. You might want to just pull up a chair and uh, sit down for a bit or something. Oh wait, what's the yellow thing behind the orange door? Now I want to know what that is too. Fuck. Oh, there's a fucking well too, dude. All right, we're gonna go to the well so we can get heals. Heals and heals and water. After we see what the orange thing is. I think orange is just chests, right? So it's probably nothing like actually important, but we're gonna check it out. We gotta, we gotta learn for the knowledge. You picked up the pipe cleaners because you plan on running Bob our vacuum after you're done with shirts. We're fucking dead. I mean, we have a bunch of bread. I guess we could eat the bread. Magical power plus one. Dope. Yeah, fuck. I didn't really want to eat bread because we're trying to make our way to the well. I wonder if the, uh... I wonder if the well will cure our poison too. Or no. I mean, we're gonna find out. There's already two more pipe cleaners on the floor. We have too many pipe cleaners. We use pipe cleaners as a toy for the cat, by the way, for anybody that's wondering why we just have pipe cleaners on the, the floor. Uh, one of our cats fucking love playing with pipe cleaners. By far their favorite toy. Like, we've bought them a shit ton of toys. They care not. They just want to play with the fucking pipe cleaners. You can't find that thing you were reading about the knife? I don't know, man. I'm thinking it's fake news. <laughs> False information. You just be lying to me, man. Uh, so, like, we don't have any other antidote, do we? We do not. And I'm poisoned, and there doesn't seem to be any way to fix it. So, like, do we just die, or... <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what we do in this situation. We seem like we're just kind of fucked here, dude. She pulled one you put in back out and then she found a different one. She likes them pipe cleaners, man. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, oil this bitch. Yeah, whatever. We're taking the tram. If we die, we die. Now then, are there like new unique items and shit back here? Or is this just more enemies to fight? I know there's more chests. Is there any more Atla? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just chests. So what's the point, you know, of, of coming to the back area other than, you know, more enemies to fight? They don't seem to be dropping anything unique. Uh, okay, I mean, we got some bread. Bread's cool. We're going to need that bread because we're dying of poison. There's a fucking ghost. Uh, oh, good. We're, we're cursed now, too. <laughs> This is good. This is this is going well. Excellent. Uh, I mean, as long as we're here, I can't die, so that's good. You don't want to steam anymore? I mean, technically, if you turn it off and leave it sit for a long-ass time, eventually the pressure will dissipate and you can open the top of it. But uh, I couldn't tell you how long that's going to take, you know? Uh, we got seven uses left. Is the curse still active or was that only temporary? Like, can I re-equip my dagger? Nope. I love how it says we are cursed and we can't do this, like, change weapons. And then we try to change our weapon and it says you can't because of spell. <laughs> the fucking translation is jank, dude. So jank. I wonder if a Dark Cloud 2 will be better in that regard. What is that? Dran's feather? What does that do? Allows quick movement inside dungeon. Breaks after a while? That's cool. So it's just like a, a item that lets us run, I guess? <clears throat> Alright, here's my here's my thing. One, there's a blue thing on the map, and I don't know what the blue thing is. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to find that out. And two, if we kill everything. 
on this level will be able to teleport out without using our escape powder. Uh, so that's that's kind of the goal. Kill everything and figure out what the blue thing is. And, and I guess collect items and shit along the way, you know? Kind of what people do in video games. Hopefully whenever we reload into the, the world map, this whatever geometry error or whatever the fuck's going on, the artifacting with the shadow will fix itself. Because that's a little fucking weird. Dude, we're already like at half health though. An opal? Is that just, that seems like it's probably just something to sell. Item. Uh, I mean, it didn't appear here. There it is. Can be attached to a weapon. No, so that's actually an upgrade of some sort. Cool. Cool, cool. I'm into it. Oh, Nate, I don't know if you were here earlier whenever I, I showed what my tits were, but... What? That decreased our max hit points of the weapon we have? What the fuck, dude? Uh, that's kind of shitty. Just to let you know that by going to the back floors, you reset all the monsters in the front area. Yeah, I discovered that earlier. <laughs> but like, I can, I can still, uh, Aisham, Aisham, I can still leave dungeon though, right? From the back floors, or do you have to be on the main floors for that to, to work? I don't know. I don't know. This is my first time playing the game, so, uh, you know, <laughs> yes, both. Okay. Well, is what it is. I mean, I have another escape powder, so I can use that. If I had an antidote, I wouldn't even worry about it, but no antidote here. Oh, Lord. Uh, that ghost freaking hurt. That ghost put out some damage, dude. I probably should have just ran over to the well. You can now upgrade it? Oh, dude, okay. Well, can I do that with a curse, though? Uh, I don't know if it'll let me upgrade because I'm cursed. Weapon? Uh, upgrade? Sure. Give it, give it that thunder sphere. Bone rapier plus one. And build up? No, we still can't do that yet. We don't know. We don't know how that works. <laughs> we'll figure that out eventually, maybe. All right. Uh, so. What you're saying is I can't leave dungeon now. Or no, that I can. No sign of monsters. Mind connect to Fairy King and leave. Dope. Okay, we're good. All the stats that are red are things that you had to put into it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, man. All right. Uh, let's go collect uh, our, our stuff from the mayor. We'll do a quick run around the houses to see if they dropped anything else out. Is that like a daily thing where people randomly, like items randomly spawn all over the place? Or is that just completely random? In the little boxes appear. Or is it only like the first time you put houses down? I don't... Oh. Cutscene? Oh, dusk. Okay. I thought something was like happening. Shit, we've been up for... Damn, it's almost time to end the stream. That's too bad. I was, I'm getting into the game. That's too bad, man. If only I didn't have to work tomorrow morning, I would put some more time into it. Uh, thank you for the stuff, Mr. Mayor, sir. I appreciate you. Uh, equip my antidote where I like that at. Give us our daily bread, please and thank you. Okay, that was a little weird. I think, I wonder if my PlayStation's overheating or something, man. Because the game is acting up a little bit. But that's fine. Sadly, we gotta go for the night anyways. I wish we could stick along, stick around a little bit more. Uh, I will definitely, Nate, to answer your question earlier, this will definitely be going on the list of games that I want to complete. Uh, for sure. Like, it's, it's, it's going on there. Um, and then, yeah, but I don't, I don't know when exactly that'll happen, sadly. Because right now we're doing Odin Sphere, trying to complete that, and then uh, that will that'll probably take a little while. Thank you, Ice Dragon, you too, and thank you for the tips, man. I really do appreciate it. Because uh, as a complete noob to the game, you know that's <laughs> very handy to know. 
The miracle box are supposed to appear every dungeon floor you complete. That's very handy to know. So, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So, tomorrow... Man, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. D&D lately has been inconsistent, so I might stream tomorrow night. I'll try to, but if if D and D you know happens, then I have to do that. Um, then Sunday night, like I said, we'll be playing Odin Sphere. If we can't do it tomorrow night, and I'm very sorry that we're gonna miss tomorrow's regular stream because you know I have to work. I didn't have a whole lot of say into it. I probably could have talked them into to fixing my schedule, but honestly, having Easter Sunday off would be kind of nice. Get a go out and eat with Noodle and whatnot, like. This game definitely after Odin Sphere. Maybe, maybe. I'm not I'm not gonna like say for sure yet, you know? I'm not against it at all. But I'm not gonna say like for sure. Especially because I imagine, hold on, before we get off. Odin Sphere we know is yes, I wanna spend Easter with you, you weirdo. <laughs> uh Odin Sphere, as we know, is a pretty long game. I'm assuming this one is too. It would be nice to like do one or two short games. Yeah, this is another like 32, 40 hour game. We might do like one or two shorter games just so, you know, we can get a little bit of variety in. But this is gonna be, this is towards the top, especially since it seems like you guys wanna wanna see it as well. Uh, but yeah, Odin Sphere is like what, a 60 hour game? And then this is roughly a 40 hour game. So I think we might do one or two of the shorter things first. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, man. Anyways, uh, again, thank you guys for, for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna hop off here, drink the rest of my tea, rest my voice a little bit, and then work on more videos for my tits. Uh, if you guys want to give that channel a subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it if you haven't already. Of course, liking the videos on YouTube helps a lot, too. Uh, for real, like, you guys don't understand. Comments, likes are like two of the biggest things on YouTube. So if you wanna if you wanna do that stuff, it'd be very much appreciated. And uh, hopefully you see the video here soon on TikTok and Instagram and whatnot too for those of you that have those platforms. Anyways, I'll see you maybe tomorrow night. If not, then Sunday night for sure. Have a wonderful afternoon, guys. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. You were like two months and it was like instant fun time. Yeah, man.